Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to export query results to CSV or tab delimited file from SSMS. This is a very common request we get as a DBA or developer from users. Some they give, sometimes they give us a query and they tell us, okay, can you run this on a dev server or QA server or production server and give us a query output as a CSV or tab delimited. So first of all, we need to know where we need to connect. We need to know the SQL server instance name. In this case we are connected to SQL Server 2016 and that's the instance name and then we need to know the database on which we need to run the query so uh, let's say it is a sales database now if they have given us query we will simply open a new query run the query and give them the output think about that they only want to get all the results or records from total sale table so we right click here and go to the select top thousand rows and here I'm gonna remove this uh, top thousand part because uh, we don't really need it uh, they are interested to get everything from uh, this table also I remove the ID part uh, and if uh, they are not interested to uh, get other columns I can uh, remove uh, them as well uh, so this was a quick way to prepare my select query for uh, for the table uh, so we run this query and uh, this is a result set uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's say if the request is coming to get the results from the view so you go under the views and then right click here and you also do the same thing select top thousand rows now you can remove the thousand part and also ID if it is not required you can also remove some columns if it is or if they are not required now if they are asking can you run a store procedure and give us the result in the CSV or tab delimited you go to the programmability you will go to the store procedures and then you need to know which store procedure they are talking about the second part as a developer I will do I will try to see if there is any parameters are used by the store procedure if there are I will ask them hey can you provide me the parameter values you would like to pass for this store procedure so to take a look on the definition I will right click here and go and say script store procedure as a creator so I can see all the definition of this store procedure this store procedure is not asking any input parameter this is simple select query inside the store procedure so I'm good to go and run this uh, store procedure I can right click here and execute store procedure or uh, I can open a new query and just drag this uh, store procedure here and select it and execute so uh, here see we, we have to select uh, the database where this store procedure exists so that's uh, sales and we are gonna execute now so result set is return now we have result set from our table from a view and store procedure now the simple part is we have to export to the CSV or tab delimited any results that you get from any of the query that can be simple store procedure uh, table or a view query or maybe it is a complex query with the joins and all that once you get the result set you're gonna click here and go to save results as you do not need to click here and select all of them and then go to save results as you can click anywhere and once you save result as you will get option here you have CSV comma delimited and you have a tab delimited let's say we would like to save as a CSV first and I'm gonna go under the videos I'm gonna call this one test save let's go to the file here now right click and open with notepad and we can see that this is a common limited file let's go ahead and try with the tab delimited now we are in the SSMS right click and go to the save result as and here we are going to select tab delimited and provide name test tab save go to the folder now you can see that tab text tab is available there right click open with notepad and we see that tab the limited file is created from here you can take this file and put into share location or you can email the result set or these files to the user and this is how you will be exporting CSV um, exporting your sorry query results to CSV and tab the limited file from SSMS thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video